Hello, my name is Jason Chaco and I'm the Applications Marketing Manager at Siglent Technologies North America. In today's video, we're going to take a closer look at the AWG feature for the SDS1204X-E. It's going to cover any of any family in the X-E uh, scope series. The uh, AWG, as some of you may be aware, is an, is an arbitrary waveform generator and also a function generator. In the case of the X-E series, that's an external module. The hardware is going to be the SAG1021. That includes this brick, uh, this piece of hardware, and then a USB cable that connects it to the oscilloscope. Uh, the X-E has a USB port on the, on the back side of the instrument as well as a USB host on the front of the instrument. So you can use either one of those inputs. Uh, it's also going to require a software license similar to this here um, and that's going to uh, you generate a code that will allow you to activate that feature in the firmware of the instrument uh, then you'll be able to operate the SAG directly so the external function generator is going to allow you to create sine waves square waves uh, and other types of waveforms and that is going to uh, excite the device under test and then you'll be able to measure the response with the oscilloscope one of the really nice features with that uh, is the ability to perform a Bode plot, which we're going to take a look at as well in, a, in the uh, extension of this video. So in this case, uh, what I'd like to do is just show you a little bit about what happens here. Basically, when you when you unplug the device, it's going to say AWG device removed. When you plug it in, it's going to take a second to recognize it. Uh, once it goes through its process of saying hi, it's going to say AWG device detected. Uh, that's going to be controlled in the utility menu. Then we're going to go down to page uh, page 404. That's going to give us AWG. And you'll see that that gives us output, waveform type, setting, system, and remove device. Waveform type, we can select waveform types, a number of different types here. Uh, for frequency, you'll notice actually there are a number of entries in the menu that have an up arrow. If they have an up arrow, you can press the intensity adjust key in and that will bring up this onboard keypad. And so now we can select, for example, two meg. So I, uh, I'll do that again more slowly. We've got the number keypad, and then we also have units over here. So again, to select, we've got micro, mega, uh, kilo. So let's just go, we'll go with two meg. Oops, wrong direction. Two meg. And then we can turn that into a square wave and we could turn that output on and off. But what I'd like to do actually, I'm just going to connect this up quickly. And so now, whoops. And I'll turn it on. And now you can see a square wave. 